Hello and welcome along to this short tutorial where I will be looking at how I can verify the a ah connection to a SQL Server uh, is working correctly. Now on this machine that I have here I have SQL Server installed and I have SQL Server Management Studio installed. So in theory, I can just open up SQL Server Management Studio. I can uh, create a new uh, connection to the database, provide the details and everybody's gonna be happy, right? But there are those times when you are uh, maybe developing an application, when you are testing the installation of an application that you don't have SQL Server Management Studio installed. And really all you want to do is to verify that the credentials that you are putting into maybe a configuration file or into a, uh, a setup uh, that you need to run for uh, another application, that you need to verify that those login credentials that you're using actually work. So this is a utility, or uh, this is a, a little trick that I learned a while back and I always forget how to do it. So I thought I would record this video so that in future me, I would remember it. So what you do is just anywhere uh, on the desktop, on a file, a folder, whatever you want to, just right click and say new text document. So all we're gonna put into here is we're gonna put in, we're gonna give it a name, give, it doesn't matter what the name is, as long as you create it with create it with the extension UDL, so Uniform Delta Lima. So what that will, you'll get a warning about, do you actually wanna change this? Just say yes to that. That's gonna create us a data link file. And if we double click on that, it will pop up the standard uh, data link properties window that allows you to test a connection to a SQL Server. So in this case, I, as I said, I've got a uh, SQL Server running locally on this machine, but you could give it a, a, a remote server name if, that, if that's where your SQL Server was. So for me, I'm just gonna put in localhost here, um, and I'm gonna say uh, use Windows NT integrated security, and then from there, I should be able to see the list of databases that are there. And then from there, I can use test connection and it's gonna tell me straight away that my test connection was success successful. So what I'm trying to show here is a very, very simple way to make this dialogue pop up, which is just to create a random text file with nothing in it, just with the extension UDL. From there, you can provide, uh, create the, or, or use the connection details that you're trying to make sure are correct. Put in the server name, put in the SQL Server uh, instance name. If you're using a uh, SQL authentication, you can put in the username and password here. Uh, and then you can verify that the, the connection string, that you, essentially what is the connection string you're using, is correct. And then you can take that information, put it into, like I say, a configuration file, put it into an installation script, however you want to do it. But it's just a really quick and simple way of validating that information. So like I say, it's one of those things that I always forget. I always forget what the uh, extension for the file is, but it's a U UDL file. And that's it. I uh, hope this was useful. Uh, if you've got any comments, questions, uh, feel free to reach out in the comments below uh, or hit me up on Twitter, uh, Get13. Thank you very much.